So as chairman of the House Oversight Committee, you have been investigating members of Joe Biden's family and their business with the Bidens. Have you found anything illegal while he was actually in office? Well, we found a lot that's certainly unethical. We found a lot that should be illegal. The, the line is blurry as to what is legal and not legal with respect to family influence peddling. I think people in both parties have argued for many years that uh, family members of both Republicans and Democrats, especially family members of uh, presidents, have benefited from our adversaries around the world. I don't think that uh, anyone would uh, dispute the fact that we need to increase the ethics laws and the disclosures laws. But one thing that we're concerned about, the president, Joe Biden, has said he didn't uh, have any knowledge of his family's uh, business dealings or whatever you want to call them. But we, we find more and more evidence every day that he was knowledgeable of what his family was doing and that we believe that uh, with, with respect to the excessive amounts of money that the family is receiving, they were certainly more than likely getting something in return from Joe Biden. What specifically have you seen in terms uh, of that dynamic happening that you say? And, and again, was any of this happening, this evidence that you purport to have happening while Biden was actually in office? Because in this announcement last month, you claimed that at least three Biden family members and two associates received payments that originated from China, but you said it was 2017. That was after Joe Biden had left office. It was, but the people that initiated the payments had met with Joe Biden while he was vice president. I do want to 